Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, it's Art Sanesso, and welcome to the fifth spade paint video of my Pride Month series. Today's drawing is another recommendation from a friend of mine, so I'm just gonna kind of get into it. Uh, today's drawing is Michael Angelikos. He is an American musician, tackling singing, songwriting, and record producing, and is best known as the frontman for the band Passion Pit. He's a bisexual man that has accomplished quite a lot in his lifetime. Apparently he started his first band, Deadgrass, at seven years old. I was playing Pokemon all day at seven years and this guy was starting a whole band apparently. That makes me feel great about my life. <laughs> but anyway, he experimented with a number of other musical ventures throughout his years in the Nicole School, delving into different forms of music and expanding his musical horizon. While he attended Emerson College in the 2000s, he developed a love for opera, the soprano voice, show tunes, and slowcore indie rock, continuing to compose scores for film school majors. It was during his time at Emerson that Angelikos began writing the first ever Passion Pit songs, and at first he did it all by himself. He would write and perform all the material alone just using his laptop. Later, Ian Holtquist, Ayat Aladami, Tom Plass, and Adam Levinsky would join as the original members of Passion Pit. The band's debut EP, Chunk of Changes single, Sleepyhead, was included on Pitchfork's Top 40 Music Videos of 2008 list. The band's first full-length studio album, Manners, was released on May 18, 2009 in the UK. On May 7, 2011, the first track from a new album, Gossamer, was released, called Take A Walk. This has become my personal favorite Passion Pit song, so that's why I'm talking about it, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, the band had a good amount of success, however, it would soon come to light that Angelikos was putting on a mask for his fans to hide what he was going through. You see, in 2012, the band cancelled its summer tour dates and suspended their tour in order for Angelikos to get treatment for his bipolar disorder. He had been diagnosed at 17 and had been going to therapy and receiving medication and care ever since. It was later revealed that he was actually on suicide watch. As heartbreaking as this is, Angelikos came back swinging after his recovery and performed a sold-out show at Madison Square Garden as the frontman of Passion Pit in February of 2013. Since this time, Angelikos, with his company The Wish Art Group, is working to bring changes in the music industry with regards to mental health. In a Q&A he hosted on Reddit in 2017, Angelikos identified himself as bisexual. This man is a member of the community that is not only talented, but working hard to improve the lives of others with mental illness. This is a really big issue nowadays, and it's important that people like him talk about it. Angelikos has been working to destigmatize mental illness behind the scenes. In 2015, his efforts gradually began going public with the PSA, hashtag Stronger Than Stigma, for Glenn Coase's mental illness education nonprofit, Bring Change to Mind. And in a conversation with Brent Easton Ellis, he publicly discussed the media's trivialization of his mental health issues and also his sexuality. He has been vocal ever since and is currently one of the voices that can hopefully initiate a real change in society and the stigma behind mental illness. So to talk about the drawing really fast, um, I really decided to kind of keep this one simple. Uh, so there isn't honestly much to say, but a frontman's biggest prop is his microphone, so I decided to include that as a way to include the bisexual flag. I do also want to note that I didn't originally know a lot about this person, um, and I did all my research online and with a little bit that my friend told me about them. I tried to uh, find reliable sources for everything, and in a lot of the articles they were claiming he came out as gay, but the most recent site I found said on Reddit he identified as bi, so that's the color colors I used. If I'm at all interpreting him wrong, please let me know. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Um, especially since I know that, you know, there's a difference between being bi and gay. It, there is a difference. I'm sure you can also notice I struggle a lot with the posing. <laughs> I was really tired when I did this, so please forgive me for that. Just ignore it, please. Oh my god. So here's the finished drawing. You can see it in better quality on my Instagram or GA. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to check back soon for the next person on my list of trailblazers. I'm going to try and get a few more done. Like I said, my full-time job has kind of been getting in the way of me actually doing as many of these as I wanted to. I think I might try a group picture next time just so I can do a few more. Uh, so I'm actually not going to do a little teaser this time. I'm just going to kind of put it out when I put it out next time. You'll see who it's gonna be you'll never know but I'll give you a hint I think the one I'm gonna do next is actually going to be people from uh, this community here on YouTube 
So anyway, in the meantime, I love you all and hope you have an awesome day.